I hope this child wasn't one of your pickings. The boy reared this one in all by himself. What we need now is a little mood manipulation. Miss, Mr. Lowe? Please call me Stevenson. Mr. Stevenson, is there something wrong with your electricity? Oh, oh, this is comfy. One juice. Well, I'll need something a little more uh, complicated for myself. Uh, Mr. Stevenson? I was never big on grace and dignity. That's good. What are you doing now? Well, I think the question is, what are you doing not home? Hmm? Are you, well, is he your place or are you at his place? So you ask me what? Very nice choice. Mr. Stevenson. Who's that? What, that? No, that was a uh, woman. <laughs> a beautiful young woman. Wants to admire me immensely. I think she's going to be a brilliant writer. She's brimming with integrity, and she's got an excellent workplace. Mr. Stevenson, there's really something wrong with your electricity. Well, on the train, I was. Ah! Ah! So, what's he like in bed? Mr. Stevenson! Don't tell me. I know he's rugged and laconic, and he's got a firm grasp on the rain. No, don't worry about that a bit. There's plenty more juice where that came from. Why do you always have to bring everything down to your level? Hello? Fine. Be that way. I'm gonna have fun tonight. But that child doesn't even lots, know who lots, she lots is. Lots of fun. She's legal. I'll get that juice now. She can make up her own mind. Then she's going to do it without you. Ah. Ah. There, now we're ready for some work. Where's my friend? Uh, she had to go. Perhaps you've had enough tonight, dear. Perhaps you're right. Tell the truth. Would you really have been happy with that child? For the rest of my life, probably not for tonight. Very possible. Where's Max? Max is lying down. He also has had a little too much tonight. Where's Julia? How do you two do it year after year? Well, we're dead. That's a big incentive. Well, the only time you speak is to fight. Oh, fighting, my dear, that's what we did. In the end, it was all we did. Look at him. You should have seen him when we met. New Year's party, costume sort of thing. He came as a sheik. He thought he looked like Valentino. What were you? Well, I thought I looked like Cleopatra. I'm sure you did. He was so dashing, so funny. And a great actor, too, you know, the best I ever met. So what went wrong? Well, Max has his faults. There were many women to whom he was not, shall we say, indifferent. But you knew that. I mean, you knew that. Well, I thought it would pass. I think it's a sad loss that men have such an aptitude for love, coupled with such an inability for managing it properly. One might think you were a wee bit jealous. <gasps> jealous? I admit, walls did go up between us, and I'm afraid nothing can bring them down. So, oh, I find that impossible to believe. Oh, it's true what they said. We were the best of friends and the worst of enemies. And now it's too late. It's just too late. <laughs>